In this video, we will see how to prepare a correct trial balance. A trial balance is a list of closing balances of ledger accounts on a certain date and is the first step toward the preparation of financial statements. Accounts having debit balances appear on the left column and accounts having credit balances appear on the right. A trial balance is prepared to check the mathematical accuracy of accounting. This is done by ensuring that the sum of the debit balances equals the sum of the credit balances. Next, let us understand the types of errors in trial balances. A trial balance does not prove that a company has recorded all transactions or that the ledger balances are correct. Numerous errors may exist even though the debit and the credit columns agree. For instance, a trial balance may balance even when the company fails to journalize a transaction, omits posting a correct journal entry, posts a journal entry twice, uses incorrect accounts in journalizing or posting, or makes offsetting errors in recording the amount of a transaction. Let us now look at an illustration to see how to analyze errors and prepare a correct trial balance. The trial balance of Winston Gardner Company given here does not balance. We have the information about the errors in the books. We are required to rectify the errors and prepare the correct trial balance. Let's start with cash. As mentioned in the problem, all listed accounts have a normal balance. Cash, which has a normal balance of $4,340, is incorrectly recorded in the credit column. This can be corrected by recording it in the debit column. Cash received from a customer in payment of its account was debited to cash for $690 and accounts receivable was credited for the same amount. In this case, the company has increased cash by $690 instead of $960, the actual cash collection. Therefore, to the cash balance of $4,340, we add the difference of $960 and $690, or $270, thus increasing the net cash balance to $4,610. Accounts Receivable has a balance of $3,312. As the company has incorrectly credited accounts receivable for $690 instead of $960, the difference of $270 must be deducted from the accounts receivable's account, bringing the balance to $3,042. The supplies account shows a balance of $2,200. The purchase of a computer on account for $1,200 was incorrectly recorded as a debit to supplies for $1,200 and a credit to accounts payable for $1,200. Since the purchase of computers has been recorded as a debit to supplies, it has to be reduced by $1,200. This reduces the supplies balance to $1,000. We must also correct the equipment balance, which was $3,600. We must add $1,200 to the balance, increasing it to $4,800. Unearned service revenue has a normal credit balance, but it has been incorrectly entered in the debit column. To correct this error, we enter this $2,900 balance in the credit column. Services were performed on account for a client for $1,000. To record this, accountants receivable was debited for $1,000 and service revenue was credited for $100. In this case, service revenue has increased only by $100 instead of $1,000. Therefore, to the balance of $3,480, the difference of $900 must be added, increasing it to $4,380. A debit posting to salaries and wages expense of $1,500 was omitted. This has understated the salaries and wages expense by $1,500. To correct the balance, we must add $1,500 to salaries and wages expenses. The withdrawal of $2,800 cash for Gardner's personal use was debited to salaries and wages expense for $2,800 and credited to cash for $2,800. This should be part of owner's drawings and not salaries and wages expense. Therefore, from the balance of salaries and wages expense, we deduct $2,800, decreasing it to $2,900. We must also add $2,800 to owner's drawings to increase its balance to $4,600. A payment of a balance due for $304 was credited to cash for $304 
and credited to accounts payable for $403. In this case, a wrong entry has been posted increasing accounts payable by $403. To rectify this error, we will deduct $403 from accounts payable. To complete this transaction, we must deduct $304 from accounts payable. Thus, the final balance equals $3,782. There is no change in owner's capital and utilities expenses. After making all corrections, we determine the totals of the debit and credit columns, which equal $22,062. Since the total of debits and credits equal, this trial balance is mathematically accurate.